Liam Killen here, and I gotta say that sidechain compression is a producer's BFF. Maybe like a close second after a reverb? I don't know. I have tons of machines and synths, and there's... I don't think any of them actually have a sidechain compression, like a legit sidechain compression, like the MPC one. I'm really starting to fall in love with this thing. As I'm sure you guys already know, the MPC is basically a DAW within itself, basically equipped with the same tools as major digital softwares. If you're an MPC live user, you're basically working with the same interface as the one. To be honest, I'm not 100% certain if other MPC models have the same sort of interface. So if I'm missing something in that respect, please do let me know. It definitely wouldn't be the first time that I'm educated in the comment section of one of my YouTube videos. <laughs> Technology power. I'll be giving you a play-by-play -play of how to actually set up side compression within the MPC-1. I'll also be giving you examples and showing you how I use it in an actual practical situation. I oftentimes have multiple sidechain buses going on at the same time, which we'll get into. MPC, LK, you ready? Sidechain compression is definitely a tricky thing to get a hold of at first. So if at any point you're completely stuck, here's a video that goes a little bit more into depth about it. And here's the beat that we are currently working with. Typically with this sort of beat, I'd want my pad or melodic samples to be side-chained to the drums. Maybe to kick, to snare, or all drums maybe. So how do you set this up? There's a few important things depending on your orchestration. Orchestration scenario one would be you're recording separate drums on each track. So for example, the setup that I have here, everything is on a separate track, including each individual drum. So pad, snare, perk 808, toms, hi-hat, hi-hat 2. You get the point. If this is the case for you, go to the track that you'll be side chaining. I'm gonna go up to pad, hit the insert box, effects, and scroll all the way down to mother ducker. There it is. If you wanna look at the settings, here they are, but we're not gonna worry about that just yet. One thing to take note of is that we're on bus one. Now let's head to the drum that we wanna side chain. So in this case, I'm gonna go with kick, which is right there. Exact same process as before. So inserts, second effects, we're gonna scroll down to mother ducker input. Make sure you choose the input. There it is. Settings, once again, we're on bus one. It's really crucial that these two are set to the same bus. So just make sure that that's the case. Also, just a little side note here. I'm aware that my overhead camera is a little bit blurry. For some reason, no matter what the focus setting is on, this screen just doesn't get any less blurry. So. Yeah, so once again, I'm open to being educated in my YouTube video comment section. If anyone has any suggestions, please do let me know. YouTube knowledge is power. We have the option of adding up to eight buses, which I think is more than enough. Let's go ahead and listen to the difference that this is making already. At this point, the side chaining is very subtle. There's of course an option to make that more intense within the settings. We'll look at that a little bit later. Orchestration scenario two is a little bit different. Let's say you're finger drumming, in which case all of your drums will be on one track, or maybe you're sequencing all of your drums individually on one track. In this case, there's a tiny little annoying difference that I actually had a really tough time finding. I'm actually gonna mute some of these drums here and create a solo drum track. Track 10 is for universal drums, so I'm gonna side chain that, go to the I once again. The trickiest part is this tiny little icon right there, which signifies that whatever pad is assigned, that's what's gonna be side chained. So in this case, I'll go with kick, and then the rest is the same as before. So inserts, effects, go down to mother ducker input. There it is, and we're set to bus one, perfect. Notice how now if I hit another pad, Mother Ducker disappears. So it's specifically this pad, which is a kick. If I was finger drumming and I wanted to activate side chain on all the drums of that kit, I would go to this icon here. Same thing as before, inserts, add Mother Ducker input. to peep in here for a little second and let you know that I've got some new music. It's available on all streaming platforms and I've left what's called a hyperlink in the description. There's several major platforms to choose from, so whichever one you're using, my music is there. Everyone seems to be on Spotify though, so I'm trying to focus a bit more of my energy there. Follow me on Spotify. We've sidechained kick to pad. Let's level this up once more by sidechaining the hi-hat to the kick. This is something that I do all the time within my tracks. This is where that second bus will come in handy, but be careful, there's a few little tricky things. I'll walk you through it. Same as before, we're gonna go to this little eyeball here, inserts, 
go down to mother -ker. This is the very important part. We're gonna go to edit and make sure that you're on bus two. It's a different bus, so this disconnects us from the side chaining that's happening on bus one between the pad and the kick. At this point, you might be saying, well, why don't you just add these hi-hats onto bus one instead of creating a whole new bus? Having several buses just gives us more control over these parameters here. So let's say you want the attack and release to be different than that of bus one. That's a possibility now. So once again, we'll be side chaining this to the kick. So I'm gonna head down to kick right there. Mother ducker. We're gonna add a second mother ducker input. Hopefully by this point, this is becoming like second nature to you. There we go. So we'll go to settings, bus two, and we're good to go. We'll head over to mother ducker on the hi-hats and see what sort of effect this is having. A lot more depth and groove overall now and that kick is just way more up front next is compressor settings which are very important i actually think that the mother ducker default compressor settings are pretty solid and safe but let's just dive in here and get a clearer understanding of how this compressor works i personally think that the most important parameters for sidechain compression and just compression overall is attack release and threshold attack is how quickly the compressor reacts to what it's compressing this sort of thing I like to leave it quite low but I never leave it at zero or one millisecond. Release is basically how long the compressor squashes for when the kick hits. just about experimenting and finding that sweet spot which will change depending on what you're using it for. Threshold basically intensifies the power of the compressor. case the lower the threshold the more it's squashing those hi-hats when the kick hits but at the same time it's making the hi-hats that are not being squashed much louder that's where this gain knob comes in so you can sort of balance everything that's happening currently it's set to auto so we're going to take that off Hopefully this video clarified some things on using sidechain compression and just compression in general with the MPC. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please do let me know in the comments. In fact, a lot of content that I've created is based off of your guys' questions. I like what we have going on. This one was a lot of fun. I'm having like a blast with the MPC one. I could feel it slowly making its way to the forefront of my workflow. Please do smash that subscribe button. This channel could always use that extra support from you guys. I'm always up to something new and there's a bunch of different ways to keep up and follow what I'm up to. And so I've left some related links in the description. For those of you who have already subscribed, a giant mega thank you to you guys. Like, share, which is a really important one actually. Hit the notification bell if you want to see what else I come up with. Love you guys, you're the best. Ciao, ciao.